Hey YouTube, it's Two Tons here. Sorry it took so long to get back to you. Um, I kind of got a new setup here, no new mic, um, new camera, I got better lighting in here. As you can tell, you can actually see the posters behind me. There's light actually in my face instead of like off to the side. Um, but my wife and I went down to, went down to, went up to C2E2 this year. Um, damn it, I don't have the badge with me. I forgot to grab that. I'll post, put a picture down right here of it. Um, we went to C2E2. It wasn't, I mean, we had fun. Um, it wasn't as fun as last year. Um, I don't know if it was because people were missing that went with us or it just didn't seem like it, the, it was the vendors was as fun as last year. Um, so, excuse me. I'm going to show you some of the stuff we got while we were up there. Uh, let's see if you can see if it will focus on that. So Harley Quinn is a refrigerator magnet. So you can see. Um, these are kind of cool. Um, I got a C2 E2 one to show that we actually went to Sorry that I'm trying to get used to this light, but Chicago Comic Con Entertainment Expo C2E2 of 2020. Um, the Wolf Pack NWO. And then Captain Spalding himself, rest in peace. Sid, you were an amazing actor. Um, that's just, I mean, we bought, um, another magnet for my mom. She's a huge Blizzard of Oz fan, and it was, uh, the lion, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow, and the Scarecrow was holding her brain, the Tin Man was holding her heart, and the lion was like, do I get her courage, because they had killed her. Um, I'm going to save this for last, just because it has a story to it, um, so this one for last. I'm gonna show you some posters we bought. Um, this is Joker or Joe. Um, it's the when he cut his face off. Um, I actually got the pot. I'm actually looking at it right now, but sorry that light is killing it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's the Joker and all his evilness. I did not do this intentionally. I was actually just looking at the posters earlier, and this is the way they kind of just unfolded. Um, Pennywise has Tim Curry and then Bill Skarsgård. And then on the bottom, it says, Hiya, Georgie. Um, as you all can tell, I'm a huge Deadpool fan. I got an Iron Man hat on right now. Um, but my wife is a huge Harley Quinn fan, like every woman nowadays. Uh, Margot Robbie from Suicide Squad. Sorry about that. But that's her. That's a really good drawing of her. This one's not like a stereotypic one. But it is. Well, hold on, sorry. I gotta take these out of the plastic. Um, there's some really ta talented artists there. Um, at C2E2. Ew. Sorry, you kind of seen a glimpse of that one. But, like I said, it's not a stereotypical Harley Quinn one. But it's a cool design. Um, it even has, like, a Joker tattoo right there. Sorry. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get used to my new setup here. I used to record on my phone. And now I don't anymore because I want to be able to use my phone. I got a laptop over here, my mics, camera, light. So, I'm getting used to it. One of the best Batmans ever. The Batman Who Laughs. Which, I was the guy that actually did this. Oh, I can get this card. Oh, sorry about that. Um, we were talking about the Batman Who Laughs. And he told me to check it out. The actual um, comic book of it. Um, this is his business card, so if you want to go check him out, he's really cool. Thank you, camera, for actually focusing, but that's his info. 
There we go. All right, zoom in. Get my face out of there. Come on. I'll take a picture of it. And, but he was a really, really good um, illustrator. Um, I bought a few things from him. Um, let me see. I think this one's just a single. But we bought a lot of posters. Um, I got a whole bunch of Comic-Con posters up on this wall over here. Um, that I've just gotten over the last four years of going to Comic-Cons. Which we are planning on going to um, Indy this coming April. It's in a few weeks. Um, even though the coronavirus is going on, we're still planning on going as long as we're having it. But we got the DP himself as David Tennant's Deadpool. I mean, sorry, David Tennant's Doctor Who. As you can see... You got the Sonic, you got hit the Hello Kitty, and then you got a Weeping Angel above him. I thought that was a cool crossover. Something I haven't seen before. I'm going to take these out of the plastic because that light is destroying them. Um, I'm going to try to show you some of the business cards. Sorry. The business cards of the people that I bought stuff from, so you can go check them out, because they're really dope, um, but, Deadpool, what the fuck, anyways, Deadpool, flipping off everybody with the Infinity Gauntlet, now, this next one, I did meet him last year, and I got his autograph, but I had to sell my belt, um, but he was there again this year, so I went up and got his autograph again. Um, but it's Mr. Phil Brooks, or CM Punk, as some people call him. Um, I want this belt so bad, because that was the belt. But um, it was kind of funny, because I was talking to him. I was like, hey, you've been in my Facebook page of... Uh, my Facebook picture for over a year now and he said what do you mean by that and I showed it to him of us last year taking the picture and he said oh that's really dope and I was like yeah dude um I was like you're the only reason why I watch WWE backstage and he of course joked that that's the only reason why he watches WWE backstage and I and he was like, well, why don't you watch it any other time? And I said, because it's the same recycled garbage every week. Oh, Burger T loved that. Christian loved this. You know, Renee Young's kind of in the middle. And you get Paige, who tries to speak her mind, but it's kind of restricted because she still is employed with WWE. And that, and then he agreed with me that Burger and Christian does say they love everything, not just what was actually decent on that that week's show. So, but he was, he's a really nice guy, um, which is funny, because, you know, you, you think of CM Punk, you think, oh, he's got to be an a-hole in person, in real life, and, um, the, the guy that did the Deadpool with Infinity Gauntlet, this is his card, so if you want to pause it and then go find him, he's really dope. Should have done all this before. Oh, I just realized what this oh what this person's card was. So for all you Avatar the Last Airbender fans, their business card is a drawing of Aang on Appa. And then Yep, this is her name. Let's see if it will focus. And her, all her information. But I'll put all these, take a picture so it's a better quality. Um, this one I got. Um, for my wife. 
It's a Beauty and the Beast, because she's a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. Um, it says, A Tale as Old as Time. Uh, song as Old as Rhyme. But it's like a playing card. Focus. Come on. Focus. There we go. But if you flip it, so it's like a playing card, which is dope. Um, this one I actually got for my son, who we went and seen the movie, and he absolutely loved it. Um, but I got him this one because this one was really cool. It's Sonic and Shadow. That light is killing me. I want to figure out where to put it. But, yep. And I saved the best for last. Uh, I had two options to get him. Which one I wanted. I'm definitely going to be framing this one. I'm not just going to pin it up like I did with all the other ones. I'm getting a frame for this. Um, because it's that important that it needs a frame. Um, like I said, there was two options I could have got. I got this one because I wanted the real one, not uh, one from him from a movie. Um, but the great, legendary Stanley. It's a great picture of him. The shading and the glasses is beautiful. Everything about him is amazing. So I'm definitely going to be getting a picture frame and then like doing a his birthday and day he died and like do a little memorial for him. Um, so to give you a couple stories while we were there, um, um, I do look for this guy every time I go somewhere. Let me pull off his card. I literally haven't been hanging it up. But this guy, let's see. Oh, come on, Mike. Oh, there we go. This dude, he's an amazing artist. He does different ones. Like you can see all the turtles, the Power Rangers, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and Zelda, and wrestlers, and Mr. T, Michael Jackson, all the, you know, everybody, Robocop. Um, I look for him. I bought a few things from him over the three years I've been doing the Comic Con thing. Um, but yeah, he's a he's a mainstay that I go to. Um, I got a couple pictures. Let me see if I can pull them up. Um, my phone's gonna be uber. Um, I did take a couple pictures. Um, I was in a tremendous amount of pain. Um, this year, so I didn't get to take a lot of pictures. But it's me and a guy dressed as Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, as some people would call him. Um, and then I ran into this girl downstairs before we left. Forget his name, but she's dressed as one of his, one of the people from My Hero Academia. Um, again, I'll put these up on the. Um, the uh, the video here, um, but yeah, my my lovely wife in a giant jelly bean. Let's see if we there we go. And this year we also got these, which I actually put up because I'm going to be doing a giveaway with some of these. So if you like AEW, um. Come check that out. Um, I did see that um, AEW is coming out with action figures. Um, I didn't. I didn't take pictures. I didn't know what we were allowed to take pictures of. And the people were busy talking to people from the Comic Con, so I didn't want to interrupt them. Um, they do have a replica belt that they came out with or coming out with. Um, they're coming out with a ring, kind of like WWE does. Which would be cool. Um, I definitely probably going to get the Cody Rhodes and Hangman Page um, 
action figures because those are my guys in AEW. Um, so the last story I got for you guys is my wife is a coffee junkie, which most people are nowadays because we can't function without coffee. Um, she had they had a monster, a Java monster thing there where you can go taste all the different Java monsters, even though she steadily drinks them all anyways. Here, buying them without going there and getting them. Um, but while she was in line for that, I w went over to the DC booth and kind of went in and around. And all of a sudden, this guy looks at me and says, hey, do you like Kevin Smith? And for anybody that doesn't know, I'm a huge Kevin Smith guy. Like, I got um, two Kevin Smith's pops. And I got Blunt Man and Chronic. And then right above that are my small collection of Kevin Smith movies. I'm slowly getting them. Um, but he was like, are you a Kevin Smith fan? And I said, absolutely. I love Kevin Smith. My favorite episodes of The Flash and Supergirl, the ones he directed before I even knew he directed them. But he was um, telling me that they were selling Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Um, merchandise like um, they had a thing where you could register on the back of your badge they had a little QR code which is a dope idea because you gotta uh, activate them and you put your name and your phone number in there and all your info and they're gonna do a drawing for a signed copy of Jay and Silent Bob Reboot by Kevin Smith so, of course, I had them s scan my batch, and they were doing a promo where if you bought the movie from them, they were going to give you, um, if anybody hasn't seen the movie, they go to Chronicon, which is a thing that they do, they're giving out badges, and, you know, I was asking what all they were selling, they were selling like, movie hats and movie pins, if you don't know what movies is, is from the clerks too, they work at movies, which is kind of like a McDonald's kind of. Um, but yeah, so I was looking at the thing, and the only thing I really wanted, which has something on it already, which is driving me nuts. Sorry about that. Um, was the Chronic Con Pass, because we have them in our local Think Geeks, but it was like twenty five dollars. And I was like, I'm not buying that for $25 when it's just a piece of cardboard. But I did buy it at um, T2E2. And that's the pass. And if you don't know, that's Blunt Man. And that's Chronic. And it also has a laner to go with it. Now Legion, right there, helped fund the movie, which... They're on the back of the pass, which rightfully so. Um, they helped Kevin make the movie. So, um, if I remember right, the guy said when people buy stuff in Legion, like the stuff for Reboot and like movie stuff and stuff, it helps make the next movie, which Kevin Smith is currently writing Clerks 3. Which Clerks One is the one that like skyrocketed him into stardom, um, but he's writing that and um, Jay and Silent Bob I guess did a um, tremendous amount of money in um, the theaters. Um, I'm gonna do a whole thing on Kevin Smith here soon, um, but yeah, that was our trip to C2E2 this year. Hopefully, I can get more footage down in Indy because I won't be in so much pain. I've been having some issues with my ankle and sitting in a car for six, three hours to get there, walking for five and getting in a car again destroyed my my ankle. So it was kind of rough to enjoy it this year. Um, but yeah, now that I got my new setup, hopefully the videos will look better. I got a more comfortable chair for me to sit in. Um, I might be redoing the wall back here behind me. 
I don't know, I might keep them all here and just add a couple over here. Like right there. That's the, if you're wondering what this is, this is the original flyer, uh, flyer that I made for us to hand out at Comic Con one year, but we were so over the weekend by the time we got there already that we didn't hand any out. So that's the first one that came off the printer and I framed it. So that was back when there was two of us doing the culture skull instead of just me. But um, keep a lookout. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to slowly get stuff. I want to get an Elgato to stream, but I might be just doing some gameplay. We're trying to figure out how I can do it. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out how I can like stream and play and stuff. Uh, but thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and share. Um, put it in comments who you would like to see. If you live in Indy or Indiana or Chicago, who you would like to meet in person. Like um, Indy, I'm waiting to meet like Mick Foley. He was a big guy I was into back in his early 2000s. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but um, he's from Arrow. He's going to be down there. He was also in Blue Blood, so, you know, those two shows I liked him in. So, um, but more on that later. We'll I'll try to do, like, a pre-Comic-Con and a post-Comic-Con thing with video and stuff for you guys to see. Um, sorry it took so long to do this. I had somebody staying with us, and they were sleeping in here, so I couldn't really do it. Um, but thank you, and I will... Check you guys later.